I had a long think about this this morning, funny enough, when I woke up. And um, I was kind of wondering what I would have done if I'd have been captain in the England team or playing in the England team. Um, and it was, a, it was a tough one decision for me to, to kind of come up with this. And I thought to myself, I understand where we are with the lads playing the game. I understand where we are with Gareth saying, well, we've stood up to racism. We've played the game. We've got the three points. Let's get out of here. Um, but in my opinion, I, I, I would have walked off the pitch straight away because we're talking about zero tolerance for racism. Okay, we're not talking about a protocol that UEFA have to say, right, if it happens once, twice, and then third time. You know, it's not third time and strike, you know. That's like me, just like me, me saying I can punch you twice, and then the third time you can react and do something. It, it, it doesn't make sense. We're talking about zero tolerance to racism. So we're not talking about one bigger who's in the crowd chanting. We're talking about a group of people, all right? As soon as they heard that, they should have walked off the pitch. The game should have been abandoned. English should have got the points, and the Bulgaria should have been banned from European competition for three, four, for whatever how many years they deserve. Because we can't just keep slapping them on the wrist with a with a little fine and saying, "Oh, that's enough." Okay, you can do it again next year or the year after. That's not that's not a deterrent for me. It, it never will be a deterrent. You've got to, and unfortunately, it, the, some of the majority will suffer. You know, there was Bulgarian fans who were in the crowd who who holding up respect T-shirts. So unfortunately, there are going to be people along this way who are going to who are going to feel pain and not be able to watch their team but UEFA now have to step in and, and do make these sanctions a lot more heavy than what they're doing at the moment and I feel by we would have made a bigger statement by actually walking off the pitch as soon as, as, soon as we heard those um, despicable scenes that happened in the first half not why should we subject our England players Tyrone Mings Rashford Sterling to stuff like that not just once not just twice but three times why, why should we do that? But it's okay, you know, they shouldn't have to be subject at all. As soon as we hear that stuff, we're off the pitch. People may pick me up and say, no, I'm a little bit extreme. But I'm not, because, you know, I, I've been brought up on racism. You know, I, my football career's been brought up on racism. You know, these young kids like Sterling and Rashford and Mings, they haven't been subjected to that, to the level that we have growing up. Myself, Wrighty, John Barnes, Les Ferdinand. So we've known that, you know what I mean? They hear about what we've been subjected to. So they shouldn't have to put up with in the 21st century. So when we talk about zero tolerance and racism, don't let them be subjected to once and then start to come back, back on the pitch and subject it to again and then the third time. Yeah, I know it's, it's great, we stood up to them. Yeah, it is great. And I'm not criticising Southie, I'm not criticising the players, but it's not for me, it's not a determined, a big enough determinant. And I think it's better if we just would have walked off, would have made a big enough statement all around European football would have done that. And I'm kind of definitely not happy the fact that we should let our black players be subjected to that on a UEFA, UEFA protocol when they've got to you know, deal with experience at once, twice, third time. It, it doesn't make sense to me.